What's up everyone, my name is Paul, and today I'll be talking about where to find parts for your RAV4. There isn't any one place that is best for getting all of your parts. I'm going to break this entire vehicle's worth of parts down into four main categories. First, your service and maintenance parts. So the stuff that normally wears out, you can generally buy from your local auto parts store. It's going to be a better price than the dealer, and usually the aftermarket replacement parts are good quality. Second, we're going to talk about original equipment parts available only at the dealer. Sometimes this is your only choice, and a lot of times, the original equipment parts are better quality than the aftermarket ones. Third, we'll talk a little bit about used parts. So if you go to the junkyard or eBay or something like that, some parts are great used, some you should stay away from. And finally, we're going to talk a little bit about when you should not fix your own car and just take it to the shop. A lot of the parts in your car wear out from normal use, and most of them are available at your local auto parts store. You can take care of your tune-up stuff like spark plugs and filters and get your oil, transmission fluid, brake fluid, and coolant from the store. You can also get struts, brakes, ball joints, CV axles, alternators, and other repair parts too. Let's start by finding struts at AutoZone. First, I'll enter my vehicle info. 1997 Toyota RAV4, two-door with a manual transmission, and a four-cylinder engine. I typed strut into the search bar and selected the struts category. Let's scroll down a bit, and here are the KYB XLG front struts I used when I installed my lift kit. They have a different part number for the two-door and four-door RAV4s. I added the passenger side strut to the cart, and the driver side is hanging out on page two. AutoZone always has a 20% off deal for ship-to-home orders. Look at the top of the window for the code, flag 20. It doesn't work. Good job, AutoZone. Your website is retarded. That's okay. O'Reilly has the same part and the same discount. They're giving me $46 off my order and free shipping to my house. That's awesome. Let's try another example. I want new oxygen sensors. AutoZone has a few different brands of sensors. Toyota's come with Denso brand sensors from the factory, so that's what I want. They have the upstream sensor for $89 and the downstream for $63. With the discount code, my total is $121. Amazon sells the Denso 234-2058 sensor for $51 in free shipping, and they have the Denso 234-2010 for $35. Even with AutoZone's 20% off deal, Amazon still has them beat by $35 for the two sensors. Now let's check out those dealer parts. Things like suspension bolts, pre-bent brake lines, and door seals are not available at auto parts stores. When I installed my lift kit, I had to replace all the camber and toe adjusters because my car was too rusty. The left window is parts.toyota.com. Start by finding the 1997 RAV4. I have the 2.0 liter engine with the manual transmission. You can also enter your VIN on this site for more accurate parts information. I'm selecting the brakes and suspension category, then suspension, then rear spring and shock absorber. Okay, here's the diagram. They usually don't sell kits. I'll need to find all the related parts. On the right window, I have toyotapartsdeal.com. I've ordered a lot of stuff from them and it usually takes them a week to put my order together, then they send it priority mail. I usually receive my parts two weeks after I order them. So I just type the Toyota part numbers into toyotapartsdeal.com. They sell most parts for about 10% off the dealer price and they have their own part numbers sometimes. 48409 becomes 48409-42011, 48452 r becomes 48452-42011, and they didn't change the part number for the bolt. Sometimes they'll have a newer updated part that fits a wider range of vehicles. I use Toyota parts deal numbers in my videos. Here's my cart. I'll just change the quantities to two of each since you usually work on both sides when doing suspension repairs. Door seals should only be purchased from Toyota. The auto parts stores won't have them and used seals are going to also be bad. This time I'm selecting body and interior, then door and lock components, then back door panel and glass. It's not on this diagram, so I'll look at the other diagram. Here we go, 67881A. Toyota parts deal has the back door weather strip for $96. I should also mention a few aftermarket parts companies here, starting with the popular Old Man Emu lift kit. I got mine from Rocky Road Outfitters. They operate out of a small warehouse in the middle of nowhere near Heber City, Utah. If your lift kit isn't in stock, it has to be imported from Australia, so don't get mad if it takes over a month to get it. They have lift kits for all the first generation RAV4s. I have a two-door RAV4, so I got the short wheelbase kit with four springs and two shocks. You can also get kits that include pre-assembled struts. Another site I've used is Moog Suspension Parts. They have some good aftermarket replacements for ball joints, tie rods, control arms, and wheel bearings. If you want car stereo, Sonic Electronics is an excellent choice. Enter your vehicle information and it tells you what size the radio and speakers are. I want to get a new radio soon. This Kenwood multimedia player with Bluetooth looks nice. Sonic Electronics gives you a one-year warranty on almost everything, and they usually include free installation accessories with your radio. 
Let's talk about the junkyard. I was going to go there today for you guys, but eh, sometimes you just got to half-ass stuff. Besides, this car is pretty junky too, so we can just look at mine. The junkyard is a great place to get collision repair parts like the hood, bumper, headlights, or fenders. And it's also a great place to get things that don't normally wear out, like these relays or maybe this relay cover, the intake air box, or the coolant overflow reservoir. You could also get these vacuum switching valves or maybe some sensors. Those tend to last a long time, so a junkyard one might work for a while. One thing I would avoid would be like a used radiator or a used starter or alternator. They probably won't last long. The junkyard is also a great place to get interior parts. For example, the previous owner of my RAV4 cut holes in the kick panels for tweeters. I don't know why, since you can't hear with your feet, but I paid $5 each for these new kick panels, and I can fix that problem. If you find a car that isn't rusty, you can take things like control arms, cross members, maybe even a differential, but I wouldn't take the axles or shocks because they're probably worn out. When I installed my lift kit, I had to replace the rear differential cross member because mine was too rusty. I bought that part used on eBay instead of going to the junkyard, rolling around in the dirt, hoping I can break all these bolts loose. It did cost me a little bit more, but sometimes it's worth it. I do all my own repairs except for when expensive equipment is required. For example, I don't have a tire machine. I'm not going to try to change my own tires. I'm not going to go buy an alignment rack. I don't have the machine to recharge the air conditioning system. For those repairs, I'll take my car to the shop and let those guys do it. Then when I get my car back, I'll double check to make sure they didn't mess it up. I hope that was useful for you guys, and if you'd like to share your favorite place to buy RAV4 parts, please leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys next time.